It was a close one run affair, but in the end, the Lansing Lugnuts, the single A affiliate of the Toronto Blue Jays, they win the Crosstown Showdown against Michigan State by a final score of three to two with Cal Eldred. I'm Eric Collins. This is a game that was played in some significantly cold weather, but we saw some positive signs from Michigan State. The first thing that was negative for Michigan State, 13 strikeouts, but we did see some good pitching. The one thing that got going was Ryan Krill. He was two for four with a double and a single. They need him for this Big Ten season. Yeah, the uh, Michigan State Spartans, they fell behind early. It's the first scoring of the game. RBI single, Santiago Nessie, and then a, a possible double play ball that wasn't turned. They didn't get an out at all, so it's a 2-0 lead for Lansing. But yeah, don't give up on those Spartans. How about the senior catcher, Joel Fisher? That was the hardest hit ball of the day, a double to center field, then an RBI single. Anthony checking, so it's 2-1. Sixth inning, more runs coming across for the lug nuts, a sacrifice fly. But once again, the stick to itiveness of Jake Boss Jr.'s team. They would score a run here, all with two outs. You get the double there by Krill, and eventually an RBI single by Durkin coming off the bench. But the Spartans, they run out of time. They just can't get it done against a whole raft of pitchers for the Lansing Lugnuts. They played well at times, a lot to build on against a professional team, and there will be some things that, uh, memories that will be taken away forever because of this game. No question, the Spartans get a chance to play against some professional players. You could see the smoothness in the defense of the professional Lansing Lugnuts. You also saw the potential of a lot of these Spartan players. And if you kept score at home, congratulations to you. 51 players got into today's game. What a wacky affair. Three to two, Lansing win over Michigan State.